Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. I'm back for part four of my several part video series on the cards that I swapped at Stampin' Up! on stage Atlanta 2018. Okay, let's get started because in the last video I covered 21 cards and we still have many, many more cards to show you and three 3D projects. So I would like to, I took this one out of the bag because I'd like to show you how great this is. I mean, it's a sympathy card, which we can always use, but it's also just the care and love that was taken in creating this card. So there's die cut, there's die cutting, there's sponging the different colors, and there's there's an embossing folder that was used on these for this texture, and old olive for the sentiment. I'm pretty sure that's old olive, and they even stamped the inside. Here are my thoughts and prayers. So that's just fantastic, and I will, I think. That is that sympathy rose is just really something great to have on hand. Okay, now this now we're getting to some more whimsical things. So this is this is pick a pattern designer series paper, and it has like cute panels where the pick a pattern was cut out of the panels, and then wink of cella was used on the panels, the little film strips, and um, raised up on the sentiment, which is nice, coordinating twine. Okay, great stuff. This is Life is a Beautiful Thing, and this is also Pick a Pattern Designer Series Paper, I believe. Okay, so that's great. Crush Curry would be that color. This is pretty heavy because there's lots of layers and lots of lots of dimensionals in there. Now we have a nice masculine card, you know, with the jitney or what's it called? Jalopy, old jalopy, I think. It's, we have the, this is really nice. This is that, I have these actually. These are these are the mask, the decorative mask, and this one's the brick. And you can use your embossing paste. You just put some drops of your ink on the embossing paste, and then you run it through your, over your mask, and that's how you get that. So let's tilt that so you can see it. I don't want the glare to affect the bag, but this is just really great, simple and clean masculine card. Oh, who doesn't love flamingos? Now, what I like about this is it looks like it's all hand painted. But it's just two-step stamping where you stamp the flame bingo in different colors and you get that effect. And then same with the water. I really like it. But you know what's nice is you know, even if you don't have a set, you get to have samples to show your customers of the different sets. And then you can also get the inspiration to maybe want to go get certain sets. I like how they inked around the edges of the sentiment. I like this pretty paper, designer series paper. So another nice card front. Thanks a bunch. Now, and for my swaps, which please check out the link below to my swaps that I created. I created lemon, I used the lemon zest bundle to create little wooden crates. So this reminds me of what I created, but as a card. So you have the basket weave. Let me just take this out. Basket weave, embossing folder. This is just great little vintage trim. I'm not sure what that's called. And then what you do is the lemon builder punch has you, know, you first stamp your lemons and then you punch it out and then the same with the leaves there's just a coordinating I mean it's perfect perfectly coordinated for the lemons and leaves okay so let's put that off to the side and I'll show you something while I'm doing that because this is this next one's it's an absolutely amazing fold we did take this out at the table where we were sitting because we were all like excited to get a card that was not your standard size okay So is that one made by my friend Ashley? Yes, another amazing card. She was at both of my events, so she actually swapped with me twice. All right, so here we have we have a card, and then it's it's from the Delightful Daisy bundle. And isn't that fantastic? See how it's a stepper card. So that's how that works. And then you, she double punched out the daisy, used the faceted gems, so I just love this card. I love all the panels. Oh, and even, look, today we celebrate wonderful, brilliant, fabulous you. Some cards are like a work of art. You're like, do I give these away or do I collect them? Okay, we will, this one's great too, so I'm going to just put that there. While well, I'm putting this one back in the bag, so I can remember where it came from. I really like this, like, cross of hope. It. 
Okay, that's beautiful. And the copper foil behind the cross. And you have the, your nice, this looks like brusho for the watercolor background. The brusho crystals, and, and I like the sentiment. And the, the cross is, you can see it's, it's like actually cut out twice. Well, the cross is cut out and then the top of the cross in another color is cut out. Okay, these look like from the Color Me Happy set, which is really fun. And they use the Stampin' Up blends, or new blends. And I like how they coordinated the flowers with the birds, the beaks with the flower colors. And, and then, of course, well, that's one of the great things about Stampin' Up is our color coordination. But this, this card is definitely a good example of that. And just enough elements where it's not too busy, but it has lots going on. And you can tell it's professionally done. All right, Born to Ride. Now this is cool because this is one of those stamp sets that like the million dollar achievers get to design their own stamp set. <laughs> and th the person designed this stamp set with the Hardy. I don't remember the person's name, but that's awesome. Now I don't have this stamp set, but I'm glad to have an example of what's made from it. Because, you know, we like to, we like to ride. All right, so now let's do this vineyard looking one. This is really beautiful. And I like this wine basket, the burlap. All the stamped, oh, I like this. Even stamped corks inside. I have a couple sets with related to wine and drinks already, but this is making me rethink that maybe I need this too. Well, I guess needs and wants are different things. Maybe you want this, not need it. Oh, how fun. Okay, so during celebration, we just had, we used the bubbles, or we had Bubbles and Fizz designer series paper, which was given away as one of the items, one of the free items, and this is made with the stamp set, which is still available, and this designer series paper. I love the fun colors. I love what they did with the bottle cap, and I love how they used the silver for the bottle caps. That is such a fun party card and they even have some straws on the card that I just noticed these are created from vellum all right who doesn't love coffee cards I make a lot of coffee 3d projects and so I love having cards to go with them there's a doily there's the coffee beans and this great design series paper with early espresso colors color okay nice and patriotic I love like your, your swoosh, swoosh, swoosh with the red. And then the Knight of Navy and the stars. This is great for when I send my troops care packages. Okay, here's the set I do have, which I love. And so that's very different than the other wine card we just saw. And I really like the background of this paper. And I like all the coloring and I like all the layering they've done oh this is a fun pocket and it's even 3d so the coming out of the pocket the sunglasses are coming out and if you can notice there's a wink of Stella on the sunglasses a little glimmer okay great stuff and this is another one of those from the true gentleman suite the looking sharp and they even they even embossed the glasses it looks like that glossy effects <laughs> which is pretty cool. And I like this, you know, corduroy ribbon as well. Okay. Because of you, I am me. Happy Mother's Day. That's nice because Mother's Day is coming up and I think this is the only one that I have that someone traded for Mother's Day. Very nice. Okay, I'll put that back in there. And then last for this video, Is, is what's called a belly band and someone traded me a belly band that you can put around a box and which is really nice I, I mean I like when I get when useful things are traded okay I'm ending here because this is your teaser please watch the next video because I'm gonna start the video 
with the 3D items that I traded or I swapped. And they were also given to me as pillar gifts and table gifts and things like that. So that's your teaser. It only gets more 3D from there. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more great stuff from Dampin' Up on Stage Atlanta 2018.